Okay, so today's pilot topic is called Intro to SmithOS uh, AI Dashboard. So if you are new to our server or just recently signed up, uh, this session is for you. So to access the SmithOS Dashboard, you need to create an account first. And you, do, you can do so, of course, by going to our website, uh, www.smithos.com. Then just click the sign up button that you will see on the navigation step. All right. Then just follow the instruction after that. Now, after signing up, you will be redirected to your Smith OS dashboard. And this is how it looks like. Okay. So, uh, yeah, this is the agents page. This is the de default uh, page. You will see your navigation bar here. All right, then some other buttons that I will uh, explain uh, in a while. Okay, so this is the agents page. All future agents that you will build, you know, it, it, all of them will become accessible via this page. So this is, uh, right now, this one is pretty bare because this is a new user account, but this is how it looks like when you already have lots and lots and lots of agents okay so yeah let's go back sorry so we have here a search box so you can search for your agent or you can use the sort feature here you can sort your agent by the modification or creation dates or by the, uh, or by the, their name um, and then, you know, arrange them by ascending or descending order. So, in the lower right section here, you have the feedback uh, button. Let me go back to the other browser. Okay, so click this one. And then you will get this pop-up here. Okay, so if you want to report any bugs, uh, you have suggestions or want to share your thoughts about the agent builder, of course, you can share it with us via this uh, feedback feature okay just click for bugs add your email your feedback then submit okay now moving on uh, let's go to the templates tab okay so this is the agent templates page so in this section you will have access to our growing library of pre-built agents okay so these agents are ready to use and are designed uh you know to help users quickly understand the foundations of agent building so if you want to use an agent template uh just hover your mouse over any of these styles here then just click remix okay after clicking remix smith os will create a copy of that agent for you we'll open to a new tab like this okay it's now loading okay so within each template you will get this workflow rebuilt workflow it could be you could just uh the, the agent could just have one endpoint some agents have more than one more than two multiple endpoints and then you will be able to see some notes all right so this notes uh tell uh users how to use or how to configure some components and you know some important instructions as well on how to navigate the workflow or how to use the agent okay you get access to this agents uh, documentation by clicking this icon here or to the tutorial for this agent template when you click this icon all right let's close this one now, if you go back to your agents, let's just go back. Okay, so when you go back to the agents page, you will see that you now have one agent, okay? One agent that you created from one of the agent templates, okay? Alright, now let's move on to the next uh, tab, which is the subdomains. 
let me click this one all right so this is the subdomains page this is where you register all verified subdomains that you need to deploy your agents uh to production so to, to add a subdomain you need to have dns access to a domain okay just click the add subdomain here add your subdomain so you have here the prefix and then you have your main domain click next okay so after adding your subdomain you will get uh, this pop-up with this information what you need to do next is to create a CNAME record in your DNS okay so yeah you can close this while you're adding your um, subdomain or your while well, you're adding your CNAME to your DNS and then wait for a few minutes so there are instances it's very rare that dns propagation takes up to 24 hours depending on your dns host so if that happens you might encounter some issues adding your registered subdomains because after adding the CNAME, you need to go back here then add your uh, subdomain okay and then click uh verify later okay so yeah it's very rare it happens what we can suggest is that you just give it some time after adding your uh subdomain to your c name uh to your dns record just give it some time okay we will yeah of course talk more about this in future discussions so yeah then moving on to the next uh tab which is the data pool okay so this is the data pool uh page this is where you can create your own uh, data spaces and upload your data sources so smith os provides users with a native data source storage uh you just click uh add data this button let's say okay. let me okay agent writer and now once you have your data space you can now add your data sources okay so you can click this uh data space click add source uh here this button then you can add your files it could be an xml a docs or a pdf uh, file or you can enter your url uh, like your website url or your sitemap so for example i want to upload this let's say price list so this is a pdf file i'm just going to name it uh, price list then i'm going to click add data source so now you have your uh, data source here okay again this is just a preview um we will uh discuss more about it down the line we will show you how uh your agents uh could later query the information or this uh files the information from this files as uh vector data later on okay let's go back to data space we also support pinecone so you can always configure your your own data uh, storage okay so just add your pinecone configuration here and then that's it okay now let's move on to the vault okay so this is a vault this is where you can store global keys accessible to your agents to all your agents so um this section here is dedicated to the llm models that smith os supports by default we provide a free api key for users to run open ai models but with very limited context window okay their components so any components that use uh llm models they are uh you can use them 
but of course there are limitations so if you want to unlock the other llm models here like claude together ai google ai grok okay um and you know maximize the context window you need to bring your own api key and add them here so just click edit key okay and then yeah like for instance claude just add your claude uh, api key here and then yeah that's it so let's close this one okay so um in this section here below you can add your api keys and credentials for other platforms you have uh access with and want to use uh by a api so we will deep dive into global keys and agent variable keys in later sessions okay so next in our tabs is the analytics uh, tab okay so let's just wait while grafana is loading okay and this is how it looks like all right, so this is a uh, very um, MVP. Um, we're still, our engineering team is still working on this um, page. And, you know, we will release more updates uh, later. So in this page, you should be able to track your tokens usage. Okay. So, yeah. Last but not least, let's move to the documentation. Okay, so yeah, uh, this is the documentation page. Everything you need to know is here from the components to the integrations down to each agent uh, template, tutorial, document, and videos. This, uh, yeah, you, you can have it, uh, you can have access to them here, okay? everything okay everything you need to know is here from the components to the integrations down to each agent template tutorial document and video uh it's in here so this documentation as you know is a work in progress and we are continuously updating it as we release more features and updates to the application so if you scroll down you'll see uh yeah everything even yeah these are the documentations for the agent uh templates debugging deployment everything is in here all right so let's go back to the agent okay so yeah we're back to the agents uh page if you go to your uh upper right corner right you'll see of course the button to our discord uh support uh channel server then if you want to you know uh navigate to your account just click your avatar uh this will uh let you access some uh other pages here like if you want to manage your team members you can click team members manage your, your roles and you know maybe make changes to your plan then check our um existing partnership uh programs you can just click partners here all right and that's it that's the smith os agent builder all right